It's Mike again with the 61 um, VW Beetle. Uh, like or subscribe if you want to help me get to a thousand subscribers. Um, I have a couple of things that I've been working on um, and something that I have to do to fix today. Um, the first thing that I've been working on are my seats. So you can see that I have my rear bench is in and I've ordered, there's actually a rubber thing that holds this seat back back. So I've ordered that. Um, but I also did my passenger seat. So you can see the difference here between the old and the new. And uh, what I had to do on this passenger seat was to um, take it out. I painted this with rust reformer and um, did what I could. Um, I used kind of some wire to hold the uh, this together. That's what it had on it before, but it's a little more visible now than it was. But you know, overall, that's what the seat looks like. Um, I think it looks good, and uh, I think when you look at this, when you imagine the driver's seat, which I'll do tomorrow, um, also in the same style, I think it's going to look good. So, um, that was the first thing, is the uh, seat, and I'll make a video when I do the driver's side seat so that you can see the full process. The other thing that I got, um, if you looked at a previous video, you know that my um, fuel gauge area is leaking it wells up inside the middle of this area so i ordered a new one from wolfsburg west and this is it and so i'm going to replace it and um i'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick the only thing is i'm i would want to try not to get gunk into my gas tank um so i've put on a one rubber glove to uh, try to keep from getting too much gas on myself. Uh, so, what I've got to do, I'll take out this uh, fiberboard leak. So I will put this right here, and I'm gonna try to uh, make this as painless as possible. Let's see how I can so the problem you see that the, there's a rubber bushing in there that leaks I can smell gas now and um, the new one you know I have a hard time believing that with no bushing I mean this has no bushing how does it not leak look at that I mean but then under here you know there's no nothing there the only place where it could leak through is right where that copper thing is so maybe there's some kind of a little bushing there I don't know it seems like it would leak but I'm gonna put it in anyway and I'm just gonna hope that it doesn't leak also gonna hope that the uh, fuel gauge is roughly the same so First thing is to take off my See what I can do here. So I'm just going to pull this out with the rubber glove. Yeah, there's a lot of junk. So this is the one that leaks. It also seems to have a spring on it. Well, I don't know. <clears throat> it just seems like a higher quality piece. Now what I'm going to do is scrape off the uh, scrape this thing off which I need my little scraper well all I can find is a rusty one but 
that's gonna have to do here. So I'll get this thing off and try not to get anything in there. And now let me just look. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay, look at this. I can see a piece of a ribbon of RTV in there, and then I see the uh, screen, but there's nothing clogging anything, so I'm, I'm just going to leave it. I'm, I'm going to go fishing around in my gas tank right now, but, you know, there's clearly... clean because I have a really good new rubber seal. I'm just going to put this in clean. We're going to see how well that does. So just like that. It looks clean. Could have probably painted it, but I didn't plan ahead well enough to do that. So I'm just going to and screw this in. Okay, well, it seems to push it. So, Let's go and look and see uh, what fuel level is that. It shouldn't be totally full, but not totally empty. It's almost full. So I think that's good for now. I mean, so that's all the way empty. All the way full. That is all the way full. So it's basically all the way full. So now the question is, is do I use this one or this one? And I think I'm going to use the VDO one. And I think I have to pound it on there with a mini mallet or hammer or something. Let's see if I have a rubber mallet. Almost. All right. So that's good for that. Now, the only other thing that I wanted to do, so I wasn't not sure about this, but I put in this hard line, breather line, and then I got the actual breather line that's supposed to go in there. And uh, I don't even know if I can get this thing back off in the way that I put it in there, but let's see. I did is I put a little tiny bit of a little tiny bit of putty on there but yeah I can get that off and pull this thing out that was my hard line and uh, the only reason why I don't like that is that this hole is not even meant for a grommet like this to be in there because it's actually a I'll just let this fall through And then you can see where I had this putty. But uh, I'm going to use this. I'm going to go right in through there the way it's supposed to. And I probably need to cut it about right here. So let me get a. Uh, Oh, I don't know. I think it's scissors or something. I have a big thing of scissors that I was using for my uh, more box cutter, but I think the big scissors are good. So this thing, you know, can go through a uh, can be held in place by a little uh, clamp or something, but. You know, say I'm going to push it in there like about push it in there far enough so that it 
tuck it into here and let it go all the way down. And that's better than the hard line, I think. So, put that on. So, some total new fuel gauge sender for the mechanical right there. New a three millimeter braided hose for the oil breather. And again, that goes down there far enough that it's never going to, it's never going to fall out somehow. So that is my uh, progress. And tomorrow I will do this driver's side seat and I'll make a video of that. So anyway, like or subscribe uh, if you want to help me get to a thousand uh, viewers, uh, subscribers that is. Thanks.